This story is about storms. Luke 8, 22-24 says, But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging water, and they ceased, and there was calm. And he said to them, Where is your faith? Jesus reminded them of the power of his Father. I remember one time when my children were little, one afternoon, my daughter Linda came running home into the house all excited. She was red-faced and crying out, Daddy, Daddy, there's a tornado coming. She had been with her little friend and neighbor, the Williams. The Williams are in their car, and they're going out to town. We better hurry and go too. I heard the weather report, and I said, Whoa, honey, we'll be all right. Our family is not afraid of storms. I like to hear the thunder. We had a big covered porch on the front of our house with a big chair in the corner pocket, corner in the protected corner. Come with me, dear. We'll watch the lightning and see it rain. As we sat in the secluded place, Linda, who was ten, seemed to appreciate a new appreciation for this side of nature. She calmed down on my lap and forgot that the neighbors had gone out of town. The wind blew, the rain poured, and the thunder rolled, but no harm came to us. When the storm subsided and the sun peeked out, a wonderful fresh new afternoon was bright and beautiful with a big colorful rainbow. It reminded me that the storm had left behind a watered landscape the trees had been bent and shaken, but they were still standing. A few dead branches lay on the ground, pruned by the passing storm. I've heard the lightning produce nitrogen, and the rain is food for every living thing. The storms of nature and our lives in our lives come and go leaving behind a new world for nature, new growth, and a pruning of useless branches. For us, the stormy problems pass and leave us with a fresh start in life and new opportunities by the pruning of useless or dead things of the past. Let us sit in the protection of God's porch and enjoy the thunder with the falling rain, whether the storms or tornadoes or floods, or if they are problems of our daily life, God can and will protect us if we believe and trust that he will. As Jesus once said, where is your faith? I'm not Jesus, but quoting 991-2, Psalms 91-2, I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust.